lab rat here for your amusement. So now what?
want to know what it means to be a killer? You ever been to the art museum downtown? They got this painting by a guy, I forget his name, famous painter. He did portraits of slaughtered cows hanging on hooks. You take a normal person to a slaughterhouse, and they will puke their guts out. You make it into a painting, and suddenly it's art. There's no difference between the two. Not really. Don't look at me like that. You know I'm right. You get it. I know you get it. You got to do something that matters. Make people feel something they've never felt before. Shatter the illusion that any of us are really in control. Think of the most profound thing you've ever done. The most beautiful thing you've ever created. And I promise you, it's nothing compared to watching the life bleed out of someone. To see the fear in their eyes. To feel them pawing at you for release. To hear them pleading, begging. That moment when someone realizes they are at their end. That's when you feel it. That's true art. That's what you have to be, an artist, a sculptor, an architect. I see the gleam in your eye, Agent Monday. You're not fooling me. Look! Oh, look at you now, huh? Am I gonna be your first? Well, come on, then. Huh? I'm right here. This room is soundproof. You don't even have to wait for a plane to fly overhead. There you are. I see you now. Oh. can feel good, huh? But the blade makes for such a prettier picture. Uh, you've got potential, Agent Monday. If you truly want to be an artist. Who says self-help books don't...
it. It's me. Get in here. Thank God. What the hell is this? Pleased to see you too, Kate. Glad you're alive. Listen, I found out some new information. What? That guy on the ferry? That was not Dumet. That was Joseph Morello. He's a true crime writer. I found one of his books. How's he wrapped up in this? I don't know. Have you seen Mark? No. I've seen Demet, though. He's creeping around. Jesus, what is all of this? He's got video feeds, recording decks, a mixer big enough for countless mics. He's watching everything. It's more than that. He's got utilities running through here, hydraulics, electrics, everything. He can control the whole building from here. How far down does it go? This all connects. This is how he's getting around the house. Charlie would say this guy is a fractured psyche, that he's wearing a mask to put what he's doing on a different personality. Take a look at this. What is that? The guy we saw murdered. It was a setup? There was no groundskeeper. But we saw a guy in a yellow jacket with our stuff. I guess that was Mr. Demet. I think it's a mistake to say he's just crazy. He is in full control of what he's doing. He's just not wired like the rest of us. That's not crazy. Crazy implies out of control. Look at this place. This is methodical. That's not crazy. No. Chicago police. Mr. Monday, this is Chicago police. Can you open the door, please? Mr. Monday, I'm Officer Stanley with Chicago Police Department. Can you hear me, sir? Agent Monday. Fuck. Fuck. Oh. Uh, dispatch, this is Officer Stanley. I, I need assistance at 8 West 50th Street, requesting immediate backup. I'm in Agent Monday's apartment. There's, there's blood everywhere and, and a body. I need immediate support. I think... Oh. He's wearing the mask as part of the performance. At best, maybe he's insecure about something and it gives him confidence. Insecure? Like, low self-esteem? Is he uncomfortable at parties? Does, did his mommy not hug him enough? Bad parenting can definitely be a factor, but... It could be a shitty dad. Just... Over here! Look at this. It's all his little tricks and moving walls and crap. Nothing in this shit box is real. He controls everything from here. It's a murder factory. You're right. We should use this against him. I want to find Mark. Not play Demet's game. If we trap him, we can look for Mark without looking over our shoulders the whole time. Okay, look, he's in here, right? So we get him to go 
down this hall, and we trapped him between these two moving walls. There's no other way out of there. He'd be stuck. Okay. But how do you make sure he goes down that hall to begin with? One of us is going to have to be bait. No, no way. It's too risky, Jamie. So is letting him run free. I'd say that's more dangerous. Come on. There's no second chances here. It's my plan. I'll be the bait. If you're sure, just... If it looks like it's going south, get the hell out of there. No argument here. You could use that as a weapon if need be. I'm gonna hang on to it. I'm more likely to need it. Okay. That's enough of a moment. Let's do this. Stick to the plan. Obviously. So how do we get out? Third floor must be a work in progress. Okay, be ready. You're gonna have to time it right to trap him and not me. All right. Here goes nothing. Oh. <sighs> 